people, this is Stevie Wilson for LAStory.com. It is now officially autumn, and as we look at this, and as I've been seeing up and down various streets where I live, Halloween's here, which means that Thanksgiving's not far, and then Christmas, oh my gosh, we're, what, we're, what are we doing? Well, besides getting ready to buy gifts and all that stuff, we have parties, and lots of them, and things like gifts and stuff that you might want to give, but one of the things that when you deal with holiday parties, whether you're going to one or you're giving one, is about cocktails. What are you going to drink and how are you going to make it something special and unique that people will always remember and say, hey, what did you do that, you know, can can I get the ingredients or the recipe or whatever? So we've got Ted Kilgore, who's a really great mixologist who's going to ex- tell us about the hottest party trends for the season and how you can make your party really different and everybody will remember it. So how are you today, Ted? I'm doing fantastic. Great, great. So what are the trends these days for holiday parties? Uh, one of the, the, the big uh, trends is, is really making it uh, very personal and kind of uh, uh, doing kind of signature uh, food or drinks or themes. Uh, some of the things that make things a, a lot easier along those lines is doing a lot of stuff ahead of time. So like my wife and I have always thrown um, pumpkin carving par- parties. It's more of an adult thing, not necessarily uh, kids. So there's, you know, uh, lots of food and, and uh, beverages to go along with it. It, uh, it really kind of stands out in people's of minds uh, when you do something that's a little di- different out of the or- ordinary. That sounds like a really a fun thing to do because it is an adult party. You certainly don't want kids around for that, but that would be so much fun to have everybody carving pumpkins and get to take home your, you know, your favorite or the one you did. Right. So, um, how does one get started with, with setting all this up in terms of the parties? Is, is it just, obviously it's, it's not just Halloween, it's, it's Christmas and Thanksgiving and all the other things that go along with this. Where does one start with planning? Oh, well, you figure out your theme first and foremost, I would say, uh, you know, depending on, on the time of the year. And then uh, making sure that, that it's easy on yourself, of course, pre- preparing the week before or the, uh, the, the day before so, and, and having things sour and then strain it off and add sugar uh, or water, depending on what you're making. And you've got a 1750 of a usable product that uh, will last pretty much indefinitely because it's got that base of alcohol. And you can, like I said, you can t- t- do that with any tea. The chai in particular is great around Christmas time uh, in a that are really uh, uh, simple to uh, serve during your, your party so you can have time to spend with your guests. Uh, some of the, the kind of themes that uh, you, you also see is kind of creating signature cocktails or punches or something that you're serving to your guests or even having them mix themselves. But so sticking with like flavors and seasonality, uh, for, for instance, the, uh, around Thanksgiving, I like to do an infusion uh, of, of, kind of the flavors from that uh, kind of time period, which is cranberry, always an apple. Uh, and we add a little bit of uh, spice, so a little cinnamon and clo- clove and allspice to that. And it kind of cre- it creates a, a very unique uh, blend of flavors that you can't find uh, anywhere else. And we just pour a little Everclear on, on that and let it steep for 24 hours because we're using Everclear. It's much uh, quicker extraction, so it, it only takes you know one one day. And, and you strain it all off, and you add a little sh- uh, sugar, like simple syrup, uh, and water, and you have an 80 proof infusion that's uh, really uh, easy to use, I'd like to mix it with just a, a club soda uh, over ice and it makes a really nice highball that goes nicely with meat and cheeses and, and a, a lot of dishes such as even turkey or pork um, pairs very well. But it gives you just a twist or something that is uh, thematic for uh, your party or event that uh, really personalizes it. And you can even give these as gifts as well or have them uh, create their own infusion uh, as a, a part of the uh, event. It could be a gift-giving infusion party where you, you snack and eat and make uh, different um, bottlings of liqueurs or infusions for gifts. That's a great idea because I had not heard of Everclear before, and I was thinking that because what I've heard from some of the mixologists I know is that it takes, they let things seep for like, you know, at least three weeks. I'm thinking three weeks, that's a long time. I mean, what if you decided suddenly that you came across some, you know, really great spice or something or 
somebody had some um, tarragon or maybe not tarragon, but basil or something like that that you could actually throw in there to make it much more, you know, much a much richer flavor that I'm sitting there thinking, you don't have that kind of time. Right. A lot of the, the recipes that uh, previously, I, I've worked with Everclear for uh, quite some time before uh, actually d developing uh, uh, spirits and uh, cocktails for them. But what I uh, discovered was a lot of the times if you use uh, uh, more um, product in the initial infusion, it doesn't take as long as you initially th thought it was. Plus, I've created something that's uh, really quick and easy and to personalize, and that is a tea infusion. And the tea infusions um, are probably my favorite way of, of personalizing uh, a spirit that are very quick. This is a chai uh, liqueur and you can make a, a liqueur or a, an infusion, so, so it's kind of up to you. The liqueur is obviously sweeter and lower alcohol. The infusion is uh, more of a base product. But it, you can use teas, uh, that same base formula, which is uh, six ounces of uh, Everclear and a little, some, about seven ounces of water, and then you steep the tea for an hour. Uh, milk punch re recipe, uh, just right. milk, sugar, and uh, the chai uh, infusion. Uh, that one can go hot or cold, uh, but you can also use these as kind of sweeteners in your favorite uh, cocktails, such as a old fashioned, like a chai old fashioned, or perhaps a, a Manhattan, or, or even a daiquiri, um, which keeps you kind of you're able to have like your favorite drink that still drink seasonally. Oh, that's interesting. That's that really sounds good because I drink a lot of chai, but I also have a lot of teas, and that would make some of these teas amazing cocktails. Right. Absolutely. So, I mean, people don't even have to go out and buy anything really brand new. They just have to go through their, their cupboards and see what they have and maybe look in what they've got in their garden if anything's still growing at this point in time. Because um, I think it's really fascinating when you can infuse something and whether you give it away or you just, you know, give it as a party favor, you know, at some point, whether it's, you know, gifting of these kinds of things, this makes it so much more personal when you've got a cocktail that they'll remember whenever they whip it out. Yeah, absolutely. And then, like I said, it's, it's really uh, the tea infusions you can do a lot of stuff with. On uh, makeityourown.com, the website, we've got some up already. The one is a hibiscus uh, liqueur that uh, is really delightful in te uh, tequila and uh, rum drinks. Uh, but there's also, you can do secondary infusions. So we have an Earl Grey blueberry where you steep the tea uh, for an hour and then you steep uh, fruit in it to, for 24 hours and then you have a very unique uh, flavor. Wow, that sounds awesome. So if somebody wanted to see some of the recipes and ways of actually doing this and making sure they've got the proportions correct, where would they go to find this? Well, all the information is on uh, makeityourown.com. We update that on a monthly basis so you, you can see different recipes kind of seasonally um, throughout the year and get a, a lot of different ideas. And they're really kind of a, a starting point because uh, the inspiration behind uh, the, the uh, brand is trying to get people to be creative and knowing that they have a blank canvas to work with and not being afraid to experiment with new and different flavors. I personally like to create things that uh, you can't get on the market. Because if you can buy it, you know, and it's really good quality, you might as well. I mean, it's sometimes fun to, to make this stuff, but these are all flavors that you won't find anywhere else. Right, particularly that blueberry tea one. That sounds really, really cool. And it's gone I mean, over well. that's just... Yeah, yeah, I think that would be great, particularly because if you had a liqueur, maybe you could pour it over ice cream or use it with desserts or something like that, too. Definitely. Uh, it would be great with ice cream or even you could make a champagne cocktail out of it pretty easily. Uh, the recipe we actually uh, I, I did for that one was actually a Earl Grey blueberry old-fashioned. Oh, wow. That sounds, that sounds terrific. So if people had wanted to ask you more questions, where would they go? Um, Questions you can get uh, on Facebook at uh, Make It Your Own uh, on Facebook. And, uh, okay. I can answer questions through there, or you can go to uh, my um, Planner's House um, Facebook page or website and email me uh, any question you have. Great. People, we'd like to thank Ted Kilgore for his time today. He's got so many great ideas for you to throw a party or throw some kind of event that's very seasonal and very much rememorable because you'd be creating your own infusion and have some really unique cocktails. 
this is something actually I've been looking for and doing because it's one of those things that I've got so many things in my in my liquor cabinet, but it's like I don't have anything that really makes it different. And now you've helped me make, gave me some great ideas on what I can do to make some cocktails very different for this holiday season. So thank you, Ted, for your time today. People, you'll find links to every all the pages that Ted met, mentioned to for you to get information on the blog post. And this is Stevie Wilson for LAStory.com saying see you soon. Thanks, Ted, so much. We really appreciate all your tips. Thank you.